understand what a privilege it is to be intimately and inextricably associated with the greatest legacy that has come out of Jamaica in a hundred years. Welcome again to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day, loving and being loved and all that good stuff. I wish you all all the best. Now, today we are going to be talking about the Cindy Briggs Pair Marley Wife and Children saga that is currently going on. But before we do that, if you are new here, a very special welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you are a returning traveler, I want to say thank you for your continued support. A movie depicting the life of reggae great Bob Marley is being released today. But before today's release, the movie had been seen, had been previewed rather, by several people. And some people are not happy with their exclusion from Bob Marley's life as seen through this movie. One such person is his most famous side chick, Cindy Breakspear, who was Miss Jamaica and Miss World of 1976. Bob and Cindy had a love affair, and from that love affair came their son, Junagong Marley. Now, what is it that is causing this uproar? You might ask. Well, it was Bob's birthday earlier this month as well. And in expressing her love and gratitude to Bob for the relationship they had shared, Cindy Breakspear made a post. And in that post, not only did she celebrate their togetherness, but also, it seems to me like she went out of her way to throw some shade at Rita Marley. In her post, she says, Bob, on what would have been your 79th birthday, I celebrate the incredible impact you have had globally. Cherish our amazing son Damien and reminisce about the beautiful times we shared. From 56 Hope Road to your mother's house in Delaware and Miami, New York. Oakley Street in London, the Bahamas, Trinidad, and beyond. The memories are countless, but our love for you is endless. Happy birthday to the people's hero. And after that post, several persons came to take Miss Cindy Briggs Bear to, to task, including Bob Marley's eldest son, Ziggy Marley. And by the way, this post was also reposted by Ziggy's sister, Stella Marley. It says, when a woman take a bullet in her head because she loves and stands with you and still show up days after to stand by your side again with no concern about her own safety, it does something to a man. It tells a man something he will never forget and forever cherish a woman like that is impossible to find one in a billion billion. And he hashtags his dad, Bob Marley, Ride or Die, his mom, official Rita Marley, and the One Love movie. And not only that, but he snuck in wife in there. And that right there was meant to deliver the same amount of emotional trauma to Cindy as her post delivered to Rita Marley. It's clear that Rita's children were not going to just sit idly by while Cindy breaks pair throw shades at their mom. And the eldest sister, Sharon Marley, did her version of clap back. She said, no woman can walk in my mother's shoes. She is the real queen. That's just facts. No hard feelings. So while I really intend to give Miss Cindy a break, I'm not going to spare her from my views on this situation. A movie depicting the life of reggae great Bob Marley was recently released and many who shared parts of his life were not happy that they were not highlighted or recognized with more significance in the movie. One such person is Bob Marley's most famous side chick, Cindy Breakspear, who was one of Bob's many side chicks 
and mother to their son, Damien Junagong Marley. By now the world and her mama knows that Bob and Cindy had a relationship and in Cindy's eyes, Bob was the epitome of gentlemanhood, despite the fact that while they were together, he was either happily or conveniently married to Sister Rita Marley, with whom he had four children. Cindy remains delusional about the nature of their relationship. In a recent post, she publicly noted the places that she and Bob had spent time. Many places, including at his mother's house. Now, regardless of whatever was going on in the relationship between Bob Marley and his wife that facilitated his insatiable cheating habits, he was and remained a married man up until the time of his death. So when Cindy Briggs pair highlights the time she spent with Bob Marley and she deliberately says at his mother's house that is where the shade is because here she's trying to prove to the world to convince everybody that listen he did not regard Rita Marley much because if he did he would not have taken me to his mother's house because you and I know guys that when a man takes a mistress to meet his mother it is 30 year disrespect to his wife the side chick on the other hand feels as though she has arrived do they understand what that feels like what kind of blessing that is yeah you can't wish that away because now you see there is disrespect all around and the mother must now continue to smile in the wife's face while pretending she does not know that the man has a side chick and not just have a side chick, but has introduced her to his mother. So here we see the ripple effects of Bob's cheating habits coming full circle where even the second and third generation are affected emotionally. And to think that she would even mention that almost 50 years later, it tells me that for all these years, Cindy has been harboring some kind of a resentment towards Rita Marley for having stood in her way of becoming Mrs. Marley. And in my opinion, not that anybody asked for it anyway, but I'm giving it either way. Cindy Breakspear does not have to be upset because she was excluded from the movie. This movie, by the way, is being written and produced by Bob Marley's wife and his children, they have a right to tell his story the way they see fit. What Miss Cindy can do is make her own movie. We will watch it because there is nobody who loves a good side chick movie than the internet attorneys who practice online. And don't forget Miss Cindy to include all the other side chicks. That's going to be it from me for today. Until next time, this is Trev from Trevessence, where your journey matters. Oh,